day everyone mike stead with another wonderful studio tutorial uh, as you can see i'm using the isotope rx4 dialog denoiser i'm gonna hide that right now because i want to show you the original compared to what i did then i'm gonna show you how to get where i got um, as many of you know uh, i do a lot of sound design and post-production uh, freelancing besides my uh, live av job but this is what I specialize in and I'm getting better but uh, I want to show you guys the things that I had questions about um, when I started out on my own after graduating and I slowly figured out which may not be perfected but it'll get you by um, you know it, it'll make there'll be big improvements so first um, this documentary is called Out There it is from Dan Courier Courier sorry um, he's a great guy, great guy. He actually taught at my school. Uh, I got in contact with him and I ended up working on this film with him. It is finished and is up for you to watch on Vimeo, which the link will be in the description if you like. Um, this will be more of an updated version than what's released because that was released before I even... I would say before I figured out how to properly use this program. Um, but you know, it still sounds good. Um, I have these things bypassed right here because I cleaned it up through EQ and like the C4 gates and vitamins and so I was able to clean it up without the isotope but it, that thing it took hours and what I'm hoping to show you guys is not really sell you on the isotope RX4 but it, it, I definitely recommend it and I asked a few of my professional friends that are doing this in the industry and they use it religiously for dialogue and this being a documentary the dialogue needs to be you know top notch and what I'm going to show you now is what I got when I, you know, what I got to work with. And it wasn't the cleanest, um, you know, it's still intelligible, but the problem is there's a huge, huge hiss going on in the background. Um, like, I don't know if it's air conditioning or the microphone, the XLR cable, it can be many things. And um, I'm working on another film besides this, which I'll be releasing soon. Well, I won't be releasing it, the director will, but um, there's as a mixer and sound designer you're going to get these projects and they may sound phenomenal or you'll get the ones that just like you need to sit there and clean up and fix it and people expect it to be done you know quick but as anyone knows studio and post-production does not happen overnight it literally takes a lot of time a lot of patience and you have to have fresh ears so i've been working about a couple hours today on the last film and I was like, oh, I forgot I need to do a tutorial. But luckily I had a little more time to warm up and practice with the RX4 to show you guys today. So here is one part of the film. This is throughout the entire film. But this is the one part I picked because it's just, I feel it's the noisiest that I wanted to clean up. So I'm going to hit play. This is the original. And then I'll show you my cleanup. And then I'll show you how I tackled that. So here it is. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later, the birth certificates caught up with me and uh, they found out that I was actually 15 and they called me on the carpet and talked to me about it. And uh, so they uh, asked me did I want to stay or did I want to get out? And I told them no, I wanted to stay. So they wrote my mother a letter and told her that. So I think that's enough. As you can see, the video kind of struggles when I'm in QuickTime. So I'm going to drop it down to a draft, which will lower the pixels or, I want to see, best performance. No, draft will be good. It'll just lower the video rate and uh, make it run better, which we'll, we'll see. And I guess I did like it because. Uh... So the video is still going to be a little stuttery. What I'll do is, since we're focusing on audio I'll just get rid of the video so I'll, I'll play a little bit one more, like a little section of it so you can hear it one more time so listen to that weird like hiss so just listen just listen to that and I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later the birth certificate so that hiss is very annoying um, when you want to watch the final product and you know you just want it gone so you're just just got to get rid of it and what I thought immediately was go to EQ shave off you know 10k up doesn't work that way 
because then you start getting rid of the actual vocal you know intelligence so I'm gonna show you what I did this is my cleanup of it there's still gonna be a little bit of the hiss but I don't think it's gonna be as distracting as the original so here's my version and I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later the birth certificates caught up with me and uh, they found out that I was actually 15 and they called me on the carpet. So you can hear this, there, there's some, um, there's still a little hiss, but I don't think it's as, as loud as, you know, this one. And I guess I did like it because, uh, I but obviously you can tell that there's this artificial, you know, artifacts inside of my, my dialogue. So I didn't do it right. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later, the birth certificate. Now, what I mean by the the, the uh, artifacts is like it just it's not going to sound as full compared to the original, because you're you're shaving off a lot of it. You know, you're, what the program is doing is it's it's filtering through different frequencies and deciding on what should be there, what shouldn't, and then you set the thresholds of of high, how high the input should be of what's coming in and then you have to reduce it so when you reduce it you're getting rid of frequencies so I'm gonna get rid of this one because it wasn't fantastic what I'm gonna do is you're gonna do hold option have a little hand or that's what I have the hand click on it you're just gonna hold option and just drag it down so now I have two of them identical it's gonna sound exactly terribly as before and I guess I did like it so it's there. So I use um, the Isotope rx 4 as audio suite because it will destroy your computer. Like not destroy, but it'll just it'll pull it down pretty bad because uh, it requires a lot of uh, RAM. You can use the denoiser, but the dialog denoiser, I don't know. I think it works a little better. I can show you both ways, but what I'm gonna do is focus on the dialog denoiser because that's what I used recently, and it helps. Um, you're able to shape things. You know the actual thing. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be on auto. You'll hit play. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later. So as you see, as it's playing, it's actually shaping to the waveform that's coming in and trying to cut what it thinks is necessary. But sometimes you're always going to get this weird, like, this slide. And I don't like using auto that much because I feel I don't want to say it's cheating. It's just it's lazy. Because then you're going to get a lot of the artifacts coming in. So I like to go to manual. You're going to hit learn. So it wants to learn the waveforms that's coming in. I mean, preview. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later, the birth certificate's caught up. Cool. So when, once you figure it, you found the slope you want, you'll un, you'll unclick learn, and then you can just mess with it from there. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna play it, and I'm just gonna start adjusting things. And if I find something, I'll stop and I'll show you. So here. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later, the birth certificates caught up with me and uh, they found out that I was actually 15 and they called me on the carpet. So as you can hear, when you bring down the threshold, the hiss is coming back and this is the reduction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it in flat, hit play and I'm going to start messing with it and you'll start hearing the differences when I start adjusting. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later, the birth certificates caught up with me and uh, they found out that I was actually 15 and they called me on the carpet and talked to me about it. Now, the hiss is gone. Now, the hiss is gone. Sorry for the hiccup. The hiss is gone, but now you're getting this artifact and it's not sounding as clean. And what I was doing earlier is like right here, the hertz, like the frequencies you're adjusting, and this is the decibels. So I'm actually going to the certain points that I have available, and I'm bringing down, you know, the decibels that you know I want to cut, uh, or where the threshold is above. So think of this as like the threshold line, and I'm adjusting which frequencies the thresholds can activate. So I'm gonna hit play. And I'm gonna bring down the reduction to leave some of the hiss because you know it's gonna be it's gonna be there, but I just want it to be, you know, be bearable. So. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later. And if I move this, I know the hiss is around 10k, so I'm gonna move it up. 
So it's not affecting anything that's within this range. So if I bring it down, you're going to hear it come back. And talk to me about it. So I want this gone. Asked me did I want to stay or did I want to get out? And I told him, And then the presence region I've I've talked about is within two to like eight k. So you only have two points to really mess with it. So if you bring it under the reduction uh, waveform, you'll hear it come back. What did you want to do? Did you want to get me out of there or take me out or did you want to leave me in there or what? So she just simply wrote him back and said, Joe wanted to get in there, and I agreed to sign for him to go in and leave it up to him if he wants to stay or get out. So they left it up to me, and I wanted to stay. So you can hear that some of the hiss is also like within, because, you know, uh, two to eight, four months later, two, two to five K. You can hear some of the hiss is still in here. So I'm just sweeping through, finding what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it quickly, and then I'll render it, and I'll show you the differences. And I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later, the birth certificate caught up with me and uh, they found out that I was actually 15 and they called me on the carpet and talked to me about it. And uh, so they uh, asked me did I want to stay or did I want to get out? And I told them no, I wanted to stay. So they wrote my mother a letter. Cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to hit render. It's going to render the clip that I, I clicked on and then I adjusted. And for future reference, what you should do is after you do this per clip, I highly recommend actually saving your presets. So if you're like, oh, you know, I accidentally clicked it out and you got to sit through it all over again. Or if you want like kind of a, kind of just an idea of where to start at, you know, on certain scenes, it you know it's great to have so I'm gonna do out there VO simple so when you go there I have this is a different movie a good lie that, that's gonna come out soon and that's that one as you see there's difference because I didn't realize before that you have to shave the low end so if you don't want to cut the low end you know you, you want to save it you have to bring it down so I you know you live and learn so right here I feel like I have a weird looking waveform but we're gonna listen to both of them uh, back to back and you're gonna hear the difference. you're gonna hear the differences sorry for the hiccup so I'm gonna hit play here's original and I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later the birth certificates caught up with me and uh cool and then here's my version and I guess I did like it because uh, about four months later the birth certificate caught up with me and uh so there's a big difference it's not as you know like the hiss isn't as prominent as it used to be and it's kind of bearable you know under some music bed like you're not going to really be able to pay attention to that and unlike before i actually have somewhat of a full range vocal um in the dialogue um due to his age i, I don't think he was speaking as loud as he could so i don't think i have everything in general anyways but i was able to round it out there's low there's some mids and some highs in his voice, and it sounds normal. It doesn't sound tinny like I've talked about before in the other video. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Definitely pick it up. The cool thing is it's a noise reduction. So you, when you get the RX4, I got the, just the standard. It's like 300 bucks. It comes with the, the clicker, the clipper, the crackler, the noiser, dialogue to noiser, and hum removal. Um, they all work. I use them religiously uh, as I work in film. They work great on sound effects, like say you record something, bring them in, and you want to clean it up. That's probably the best thing to do rather than messing with clip gain. Um, and that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thank you very much.